what's up i'm really hoping that okay yep yeah, mic is there but the quality is good my plan is to do a little test ride for a couple of reasons a to make sure everything i did to the bike works make sure the saddlebags are <laughs> staying on um also to see if i need to put my sweatshirt on and from there depending on how that goes that will uh, well i'm gonna figure out how that works and then i want to listen to the audio holy fuck I'm a popular motherfucker so my buddy's coming over all right change your plans Perfect. Everybody wants to go this way. Today what we're going to do is a nice little, a nice little ride is what I have planned. Me and my buddy got a 1700 Yamaha Roadstar. Pretty uh, nice little unit back there. Um, they're not outrageously priced, you know, for what you're getting. That's a pretty fucking good bike. And I got the Purple Panda Mike, Hero 9. Really hoping that uh, it's as good as I'm anticipating it to be. Well, as I want it to be. I'm anticipating it to have some wind chatter. Um, gas is getting a little low, but that's okay. All right, so we got one battery, brand new Hero 9 Black, Purple Panda Mike. Is that a kitty cat? I think it'd be. Hey, hunker down, bro. Nice, it's cool looking. Jesus, fuck. Today's little ride is nothing, you know, nothing fancy. Just some roads that I enjoy. Kind of, it reminds me of my childhood. Um, you know, advent not really adventures, but when I would go see my dad on the weekends. We would go this way, well, because he obviously lives out this way, so this is where we would go. And, you know, we did a lot of cool things out here. Um, shit. There's a little cool natural spring up here that I'm going to go to. I told my buddy about it. He's never been there, so it'll be kind of neat. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's, it's like... It feels like it's like 80 out, maybe 75, 80, but it's kind of just right for not needing a sweatshirt on right now. We do have a lot of uh, country out here, farms and cows and limestone and shit. Grand rough roads, definitely got some nice rough roads. And do a make sure the mic is there. I have lighting good for this camera, you know, it's kind of, I don't have my ND filter just yet, so, I'm still got my bags on, I've been having issues with the bags, I've kind of concluded it to uh, an error that I was doing, uh, typing the shit out of them, um, I do believe that. Probably a lot, or you know, other reason for the issue. All right. I know the audio isn't great, but we're gonna have to deal with it in this video. Um, way too much wind noise. I'm gonna work on that. 
going to work on the helmet situation. But thanks for sticking in there. I appreciate it. That's why this bike is amazing. It's so fun. I'm sure I got the bag on. We fucking do. My buddy's first year of riding, by the way, so I should probably not be an idiot all the fucking time. But I will be. Well, I'm not going to be. I'm going to try not to be. Ah, oh, fuck. Eat what? The oh, you left them open? Eh, fuck it. You good? Good. All right, so it's been it's been a minute or like fucking years since I've updated on a moto vlog of what I've been doing to this bike and shit like that. Um, first things first, we'll talk about performance because that's what I love the most about the bike. So as you can see back there from the uh, stop sign there, you know, she fucking rips and gets SNS intake on it. Tuned up with the Power Vision 3. I have a mount for it, but I broke the fucking thing, so now I gotta go buy that. Yay me. Um, and then I have the two brothers racing two to one. Um, and I'll review those three products. I'll give you a brief review right now. The exhaust is fucking sick. Um, sounds great. Does need a baffle in it, which you can buy for like, I don't know, 70 bucks, something like that. Not a big deal. The tuner is fucking sick. It'll give you so many. Um, it'll, it, it just tells you so much shit about your bike. And it, pretty much anything with a sensor, it, it'll tell you. So that is. The, um, the air intake, obviously, if you have an Indian Scout or an Octane, you know, it's a son of a bitch. You literally take the tank off, you gotta fucking support the, uh, the engine, pretty much, because you have to take off the, pretty much, you gotta take the frame apart, and the, and the bike could literally, you know, crumble and in on itself, close in on itself, whatever you want to say, so. You get the stock one out. Put the S and S in, and then you're 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 pretty good. So that was mildly, you know, inconvenient, but you do it once, and then you know it's easy. You take the tank off, but you will get good with that with these bikes. Um, the hardest part is the fuel line, but like I said, you'll get good with it. Take that off, and then you can easily clean and oil your filter, no problem. On the exhaust. I probably should have put in new gaskets, but I'm a lazy motherfucker and didn't give a shit, so. Um, I really didn't have an issue, just you gotta have tools, you know, the right tools, pretty much. The angle, there are some YouTube videos that I watch, so I'm sure that there is more now to give advice on not the best way to do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for performance. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can count tires, but I got, I had Commander 2s on it, and now I have an Avon on the rear, a Storm 3D something something. Pretty cool tire. Um, fucking nice tire, I'll tell you that much. Thus far, I've done about maybe 600 miles on it. Uh, before that, there was kind of stock. And, uh, you know, my front tire, I got 15,000 miles, so. That would mean I have about 2,000 miles on 
the front right now, the Commander 2, and it doesn't, you know, I don't get the death wobble at high speeds like I did before, so that's a plus. used to be a cool, I mean, it's a nice little town, but, uh, you know, that store right there used to be a thing, and, uh, I don't know, must have, people must have not been going there, which is sad, I like those little, you know, stores. I'm trying to be more safe, right? You know, I'm trying not to goof off a lot, but it's just fucking fun, you know. It really is. Really nice twisties up here. More enjoyable coming down for me because I got a, this is a right hand bend, so I'm gonna hit pet exhaust if I get really into it. Now I got to take a right up here, so I got to fucking let a dickhead know that. in fucking rack. I'd feel like shit. So this place here, um, this is like I was telling you about before, my dad would bring me out here. And uh, I remember this spring, it's just a, you know, locals love the water, it's cold. No matter if it's 100 out, the water is going to be damn near fucking freezing, so that's fucking cool. I'm not sure, oh fuck. Gotta watch out for the fucking bumps, man. They'll sneak up and just hit, nail you right in the ball sack. When I get to the spring, I'll probably stop recording there most likely will be people up here but yeah I mean you know this is the cool stuff I'm trying to find out you know more of these cool little spots and I'll bring you guys with me here it be here it be here my brakes just stuff up there letting everybody know Let's see if I can Yeah, I just skidded because I'm badass. Look at the birds here. The birds fucking know. Damn. This be it. Alright, so... We just... Got ourselves some aqua. Make sure my saddlebags are locked. They be. Holy fucking bumps. Did you guys hear that in my voice? Alright, mic is still in place. Not sure on the quality of the fucking audio. But. Slightly cloudy. You know like when it's cloudy like this and you have fucking dark sunglasses? You're like, fuck. Should have put them on. But then you're like, well, I... But then when you're in a position like me and you have fucking prescription on, it's like, fuck, I gotta keep them on. <sighs> Clear. How would he do? go a little aggressive this time. Not too aggressive, but...
chill. I'm gonna have to warn him because when we get up to this, we're gonna get to this cool little fucking pole off place. I'm gonna shoot some uh, video of it. Um, it's an old camp um, back in the Depression era. Um, the government, you know, I, I believe the government employed people to plant trees on the land that they acquired because people just fucking moved. So the state acquired it as, you know, land for them. And the state's like, well, they got all this fucking farmland. Why don't we just put trees on it so it can become a state forest? And then people can hunt on it, and then we can make money. Um, so that's what they did. They paid people to plant trees. From what I understand, I'm probably wrong. There's probably some guy who knows everything about it, but we'll go check it out. I wish this road was in better shape, because this road would be fucking amazing. Give Cody the early blinker, you know what I'm saying? There's no fucking dunces coming up. Oof, mama, mita. Ah, shit, I didn't tell Cody to watch out for the shitty roads. Hey, I'll have to figure it out on his own, you know what I mean? <sighs> Campers. I ain't looking to camp, motherfucker. No. Oh. Is anybody here? I don't see anybody here. Buy wood fire here, no? Oh fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah. I haven't been here in a minute. Well, I would say this ride is pretty much completed, so I wanted to thank you everybody for sticking to the end of the video um, I really hope you enjoyed um, if you did drop a like or a dislike I guess um, subscribe maybe even drop a comment that would be pretty amazing I do plan on releasing a lot more content on my YouTube um, and I'm hoping that the quality is going to be what everyone would expect but yeah thanks for joining this short little ride I do plan on getting more batteries so that I will be able to do longer rides so without further ado have a good one guys